Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another object competition video but unlike all the other videos we are not going to be going over the results of the previous competition as we have a tiebreaker. I got on this morning and I noticed that we have a tiebreaker between Zane B and Chris for the last competition we did which was the Chlorine Planet so we don't have a winner decided yet so I put out a poll everyone's got 24 hours to decide the winner so i'll be filming a uh, another halloween related video tomorrow which you'll see at some point as well so hopefully the winner will be announced in that video assuming that it doesn't go to a tie there i mean if it does maybe i would have to judge um who comes out on top or something but who knows um but for the uh, time being yeah it's a tiebreaker between chris and zane b so we'll have to see who comes out on top um on that but yeah that all said and done guys on to today's competition we are doing a Halloween themed competition. So as you can see, I've already got the background in like Halloween-y colours. We've got like the spooky green, the pumpkin orange. So without further ado, let's see what you guys have prepared for us here. So let me just get my uh, get my Discord up on my other device here so I can read the descriptions. So here we go. Okay, so let's go down to the area like normal. Let's see what we got here. Okay. I actually kept the copy of the Chlorine Planets as well because I really like them. So I've got a copy of them all now just to use as templates in future stuff. So pretty cool. Anyways, here we are. So here's our competition objects here. We have a gas giants in here as well. Okay. So the first of the objects we have from Kerbal. Let's spawn it in. Here it is. Oh my god. Whoa. Look at that. Oh wow. There's like a skeleton there as well with wings. Oh my god! Oh, that's... <laughs> it's got a coffin on it as well, a ghost, spider web. Oh my god, that is so cool. So, um, let's see, did he give us a description? Could have done more, but I'm satisfied so far. Lore, humans decided to decorate a random dwarf planet. <laughs> it's just like graffiti on, on a big planet here. Oh, that is so cool. Literally has a pumpkin face on the planet. There's a bat as well. I see a skeleton there. Wow. Props to you. That is really, really cool. So there is Kerbal's one. Look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so good. Right. Uh, next up we have got... So this is from Emerald Neo. So let's go ahead and spawn it in. There it is. It is enormous compared to the little dwarf planet here. So Emerald Neo. Let's see what they've given us. Please do not play the simulation. Yeah, we haven't played the simulation. That's fine. As this object simultaneously, uh, simultaneously on fire and has an ocean. Lore. The planet was formed some 1 billion years ago around a sun-like star that orbits at a distance of about 0.9 AU. Uh, the atmosphere is tinted red from evaporating blood with thick orange clouds from a recent volcanic mass extinction event. The average surface temperature is pretty toasty, 504 degrees, and it's covered in oceans of blood from a collision from its Venus-sized uh, moon and a more recent volcanic mass extinction. Before this planet had life in the form of giant spiders and other large um, fauna. You can still see their remains in the form of glowing white skeletons on the dark half of the planet. Oh, it's like, oh! Oh, uh, spooky. It's got, obviously, the red glows, the white skeleton glows. Oh, man, that is not a nice place to live, probably. <laughs> oh, and it's at 504 degrees, 506 degrees. So, really crazy stuff. Right. Next up, we've got ND's planet. Let's go spawn that in. Here it is. Whoa. So this looks like a pumpkin texture on a planet. Oh, it's got city lights as well. So. Let's see what you put. Who is my submission? It's a completely barren planet without any water or atmosphere. It is modded to have a pumpkin texture on it to match the Halloween theme. There you go. So it quite literally is a giant pumpkin planet. So there you go. We've got city lights of Earth on it as well. Very nice. Okay. Next up, we have got Mew. So they have got a gas giant for us. A nice black and orange looking gas giant as well. There it is. So let's see. Did they give us any description? Uh, let's see. Ooh, spooky times is happening. NASA has discovered. Okay. Well, spooky times is happening. As NASA discovered which could be the most awesome looking Halloween planet ever. The report... Goes back from the day to me, says it becomes Halloween on that planet 24 7 and never stops. It also says it has a great taste of candy. 
that everyone loves and the terrestrials feel very happy about it. It'd be very funny to send ghost investigators instead of astronomy to discover all about the spooky planet. So there it is. Nice. Okay, next up we have got this object here. This is from Chensich, Spawn Island. Okay. Ooh, that looks pretty mysterious. So, Chensich. Law, it formed... Then some random civilization decided to experiments and it all kind of died. <laughs> okay, so this is the Halloween. So let's look underneath the atmosphere. Oh, it looks very, very nasty underneath. So there it is. Okay. Nice. So there it is. Alrighty. Next up, we have got Minor Bat. Whoa, it's huge. Look at this size of this. Oh my god. It's massive. It's the size of multiple Milky Ways. What? So he's made like a custom bumpkin looking thing. Oh my god. Can we make it smaller? Or it, will it break it? I don't know if we can make it smaller. Okay, I was going to say, that's it. It's huge. It's too big. We need to at least have it next to the other stuff. So, oh my god. Let's lower that down, mama. Oh, <laughs> it's multiple light years in size. It's huge. It's too big. Look at this. <laughs> Oh my god. It's insane. That is absolutely wild. Let's go. It's made it to a couple of Jupiter size. Where, where's the other planets? Oh my god, it is so far away. <laughs> Let's just drag it towards all the other objects because that's, that's a little better. Yeah, uh, it's too big. <laughs> so let's get it. Ooh, oh my god. Look at this. Bring it over here. Come on. There we go. It's just over there. Let's bring it a little closer. There you go. So this is the pumpkin planet from Minor Bat. So let's see what he is. Uh, there you go. So. Minor Bat. Let's see what you put. And da -da -da -da. Where is his submission? I'm trying to find it. Uh, Minor Bat. Emerald Neo. Ah, a witch was practicing her spells on a pumpkin. However, she accidentally said the enlargement spell a little too loud, and this was the result. The magic is unstable, and if you unpause the simulation, it will magically disappear. Okay, we definitely won't unpause it then. Ooh. So, there it is. It's pretty cool. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, next up, we oh, so we've got Saphenix's object here. Let's go ahead. Oh my God, bro. It's very weird. Right, there it is. So it's a hot gas giant. So, South Phoenix says, let's see. This is, uh. Oh, God. Oh, God, they're saying this about how to pronounce it. Oh, my God. Complicated. This is Rolk. The K heart is pronounced like the Spanish J in Jalapeno. Okay. Also known as. Pyreville Minoris. Okay. Interesting. It's a hot Jupiter that is 67 Earth masses, 7.2 times the size of Earth, and about two thirds the size of Saturn. It all gets a young, rapidly spinning B type star called Anivia, no relation to the low character. It orbits at a distance of 0.72 AU, about the distance of Venus orbits the Sun. A clear indication is how luminous it really is. Its orange glow comes from the atmosphere of 976 degrees combined with its coal back clouds. The planet has been nicknamed Jacko Lantern Planet. This planet's conditions are extremely hostile to life. It rains so molten sodium and potassium. Oh my god. Surprisingly, for a hot Jupiter, it has two moons with some insane pronunciations. Okay, I'll leave it there. By the way, if you remember Oko from the Young Planet Earth competition, this is from the same star system. Nice. Okay. So there is that object there. Next up, we have got Salo's object. Let's go ahead and spawn Alan. Skull planet. Whoa. Ooh. <laughs> wow. That's pretty cool as well. Wow, we. All right. So Salo has put. It's basic. Here's my submission. It's basically a planet with a skull, and it's made by Planetscaping. If you play the simulation, the planet will lose its skull. Hey, Salo's skull. Look at that. Hey. Oh yeah. Hey, <laughs> that's the island. Nice. Spooky. 
Okay, next up we have got Compact Stars object. Let's go ahead and spawn that in. There you go. Surprised we've not seen any green planets, I have to say. Um, here is this. Right, so Compact Star. So he has put for his one. Where are we? I don't know if this is a Halloween theme, but I tried. Tenebris is a terrestrial planet orbiting a brown dwarf in the constellation Centaurus, approximately 84 light years from Earth. The planet has been identified as the darkest terrestrial planet known, reflecting less than 2% of any light that hits it. This is mostly due to the planet's atmosphere, thicker than that of Venus, which is composed of almost 5% ozone, with the rest being nitrogen and CO2, causing it to have a nearly black colour. This extremely large amount of ozone in its atmosphere is still unexplained by scientists, but is believed to have been caused by volcanic activity or life on the planet. Despite having an effective temperature that is near absolute zero, with the brown dwarf's heat having an negligible impact on it, the planet's atmosphere has created a very extreme runaway greenhouse effect, causing its actual temperature to heat up near the freezing point of water. Freezing point? The surface is composed mostly of dark basalt and silicate rock, but there are deposits of ice and water on the planet delivered by comets in which life formed. The life on Tenebris it's much less diverse and abundant than on Earth because of its toxic atmosphere, but Tenebris has a very high atmosphere density, so flying bat-like animals have independently evolved many times here. Okay, yeah, that is a very, very dark-looking planet. Look at that. So that's what it looks like underneath. Clouds and then atmosphere. So there you go. Okay, and then next up, this is the last object. It is from Demunic. Let's spawn it in and see what he has prepared for us here. Oh my god. Whoa. Oh my god, look at that! That looks absolutely amazing. It looks like oh, that is not where you want to be. That is not a planet you want to live. Look at the glow! Look at the face! Look at that face! Let's uh, just put it in the dark side. Ooh, glowy jack o' lantern mode. Ooh. Oh wow, that is so cool. So that's all coloured water, I'm guessing so. Let's see what the Munich put here. So, no description this time. Happy Halloween. This is once again one of the best objects I've made. I had a hard time choosing the colours. Look at the best. I'm still not sure if these are the best looking colours. The problem is not how bad it looks in some colours, but how good it looks in any colours. So yeah, hope you like. It took hours to make. A good amount of hours to make. To change the colours, you've got to change the middle terrain colour and water colour. Those are the ones that do most of the job. Um, it's kind of likely the thinner details that are going to be lost, so try putting it in a separate simulation. I know this is kind of annoying, but I really want to make sure it looks as it should in the vid. Um, okay, we can. I guess we can do that. So I just call it. Uh, I can't even spell. So let's put that there. We'll see in a separate simulation. I mean, the detail on it looks pretty good here, so we'll just quickly look in another sim just in case. Um, I'm quite interested to see how that customizes as well. So I wonder if I can make like a green variant. That could look pretty cool. Um, anyways. So, where are we? Oh, uh, yeah, it looks the same as it did in the other sim, I'd say. There it is. But let's have a quick little customization of it. So, for instance. Oh, okay. So it has a modded atmosphere of some kind by the looks of it. But also, you can still fix that so you can make it green. So, water again. You can make a green. Oh, <laughs> Oh, that's really cool. That is pretty cool. So you can make it look green. And also, he did say you can change the surface colours as well. He said the middle elevation. I think, oh my god. <laughs> oh, right. So you could have it as any colour. I mean, you could have it green and black. <laughs> pretty cool. That is pretty cool. I do like that. But there you go. But yeah, the purple, I think the colours he will look really good on it but anyways back to the main simulation so there we are that does it for our halloween object competition guys so what do you think of that that is a wild list of stuff a lot of people went for pumpkin faces so pretty cool so this is our list here so awesome stuff uh, let's make everyone about the size of one earth just so we can get everyone sort of combined together a little, I think that dwarf planet at the start, I don't think that will like appreciate being made so big that may be a problem. Uh, there we go, that's roughly about one Earth each. There you go, that's better. And then you got the little guy here. I, <sighs> one Earth, is that going to break it? It's going to break it! Uh, well, no, it hasn't actually. No, let's just remove the water. Um, get out of here. Oh, no, that's fine. There you go. Okay, so there is our lineup. So what do you think of that? So, going back to the other side, so we've got Sallow Skull here. 
Then we have Compact Stars, Tenebris. Enday's Spooky Pumpkin Planet there. Then we've got this one here. This was uh, one I am not going to try saying. So this was from South Phoenix. Then we've got Minor Bats Pumpkin there. Then we've got Chen Sitches. Then we've got a Ghoul here. So this was from Mew. Then we have Nuss T. Which one was this? I think the atmosphere has gone a little crazy. Um... Which one was Nuss T? See, please remember to put your name, guys. Otherwise, we do have this issue. When I go back, I got a red <laughs> So, Nuss T was... Um... Is it... Oh, no, um... I thought it... Uh... I think that was Neo's one. Emerald Neo... Yeah, that was Emerald Neo ones, yeah. Please remember to put your name in it in future, because otherwise we do... Yeah, that was that was his. Okay, then we have uh, this one here. So that was the very first one we saw. So this was... Kerbal's one. And then lastly, Demunix at the end. And the one we just checked out. So there is all of the submissions, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this competition. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe down below as well. And yeah, may the best person win. Good luck to everyone in this competition. A massive thank you to everyone who participated in this competition as well. This is a really wild one. So let's see who comes out on top here. But yeah, guys, with that all said and done, good luck to everyone um, in the voting for this. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.